Have have you guys seen Bird Box? No. No, I haven't seen it. I heard it's really good though. Okay, good. Because today we're gonna be playing Can You Survive Bird Box. Thankfully, they haven't watched it. I mean, Daniel told me not to watch it, so... Daniel told me not not to watch it, so I didn't out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler warning, if you guys haven't seen the movie, I suggest you go watch it because this video is very inspired by the film. So, you're watching TV, right? There's been some news of mass suicide. It's almost becoming an epidemic. It hasn't hit your town yet, but you know it's going on. You walk to get groceries. You see someone look up and he suddenly starts to bang his head on the wall. He's killing himself. Wow, that's a really dedicated heavy metal fan. You know what? I will help him do it faster. <laughs> Wait, Steven, oh, no. before you go, hold up, hold up. Now, what do you think's going on here? What would be your first instinct? You've heard there was mass suicide. Person looks up and then he starts to kill himself. I would run away as, as fast as possible. Put the keys in my car and get out of the town. Oh my God. Are, are you sure you don't want to look up? Aren't you curious of what's going on? No. Wait, do I okay. have to look up? It's your choice. Okay, so suddenly Daniel's tone changed. So I feel like we should do the opposite so of what too. he says. So I look down. You panic because it's not just him killing himself. A lot of people are starting to kill themselves suddenly all around you. You run to the nearest house and ask to be let in. Mm -hmm. Eventually, they let you in. Everyone's okay. in a suicide cult and everyone doesn't like it. People look at Steven strangely. No, man, my, my wife. My wife just killed herself. She was happy as a bird can be. There's no way she would just kill herself. Happy as a bird box? I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think is happening? What What's causing this? What, what's going on here? It's, I okay, so it's either a virus or it could be like a flying ufo so when people look up they get mesmerized by some kind of light source maybe and then they start killing themselves it's not just when you look up but certain things appear and disappear and if you look at it while it appears you die hmm. steven stop trying to look for it Shh. Daniel, don't tell me what to do. You get scared, and let's say you just cover all the windows with sheets. You lock the door. You don't look outside. But eventually, food runs out. So you need to go for a supply run. It feels like if you look at something outside, you die. How on earth are you going to get supplies? Where are you going to go, and how are you going to get there? Horse blinders. They seem to be pretty effective at making horses look straight, so why not humans? What if that thing Daniel's talking about appears right in front of you? Daniel made it sound like looking up is what caused it. Can I use echolocation? <laughs> you guys can try whatever you want. But Steven, it's not just when you look up. It's anywhere outside. You might see this thing. So we have the information that we, if we see things, we will die. Yeah. Can we just close our eyes and try to navigate our way with blind man's stick? Sure, you can try. Yeah. I will do that. But I forget where the grocery store is. So that's going to be fun. Can these things physically hurt us? Like, can they touch us? and like remove no, the they cannot sunglasses physically or something? Touch you. What? Then why is everyone so afraid of them? Because if you see them, you'll die. But I feel like as long as you don't open your eyes, just gouge out your eyes. Jeez, I don't know why people don't <laughs> think of this before. Because it is painful. I don't know. So you attempt to go outside blindfolded with a little stick. You know a supermarket's right around the corner. Wow, how plot convenient. That's right. I'm trying to make this a little bit easier for you guys. You're welcome. Thanks, Daniel. But you hear a voice. It sounds like someone familiar. It's saying, help, please look over here. I, I need your help. What do you do? Don't tell me what to do, sir. I throw a rock at wherever the sound is coming from. <laughs> I find a rock and pick it up and throw it at the guy. You throw the rock, but there doesn't seem to be anything. Did we hear the rock colliding? So whatever this alien thing is. Wait, is it a UFO? You don't know. So it can't touch us. It can't interact with physical things. Mm -hmm. When Steven threw the rock, did we hear it collide? It collided on the ground. What if it's like a ghost kind of thing and then it's luring us to a hole or a cliff? Oh my god. Please look over here. I really need your help. I feel like this is also might be just a virus that's infecting our brains. I'm gonna die if you don't look right now. Well, then I'll keep looking over here. Screw you guy. I flip him off. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. All right. So you guys somehow make it to the grocery Store. I'm sorry, guy. And you get your supplies and you return home. Let's say oh, you made it back. We made it back. Oh! Wait, 
Can they come into the house? Why don't we- Wait, I'm gonna keep my blindfold on. Steven's the only one that wears a blindfold, but no one's getting suicidal. Screw you all. You guys are idiots. Steven walks away, <laughs> smashes onto the wall. <laughs> Turns, <laughs> smashes into the it's wall okay, again. I'll, I will help Steven. Seeing eye dog, go, go help through me. The, yeah, <laughs> go, go through his daily lives. Wait, are there even animals? Animals seem to not be affected. Get me a seeing eye dog right now, Hosa. There's one right outside. No, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but suddenly, you hear a very desperate knock on the door. What do you do? Well, I feel the door for vibrations because these things can't interact with physical things. So if there's vibrations, it's probably a thing. So do, do we do we get any physical vibration from the knocking? Yes. Oh, so it's someone. Uh, can you tell tell us about yourself? Wait, we've had it too easy for too long. I think Daniel's trying to kill us now. Do we have weapons? Oh uh, yeah, you guys do have a shotgun. <gasps> That'll blow right through the door. So I mean, like that's kind of useless. I have an idea, Hosa. When I say go, open the door. I'll shoot with my eyes closed. Closed. No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> you're gonna shoot me! Host, I, I'm, a, I'm a good shot. I won't hit you. But you're blindfolded. How else can we kill this guy without breaking our down our own door? We don't have to kill this guy. We can just tell him. I would like to kill someone. Eventually, someone <laughs> else lets him in because you guys have been arguing. No! Shoot, well, shot. You guys have been arguing for too long. And this guy, when he comes in, he has a blindfold on his face. Okay. I would like to he explains that him and a couple of his friends were inside a house but weird people seem like they didn't mind seeing these creatures they said everyone else needs to see these beautiful things they forced us to look at these creatures i escaped somehow how do we know you're not one of them well i, I don't think he's killing us right now is he no he's not could be tricking us <laughs> why are we even staying here steven let's leave this house i feel like everyone's conspiring against us even you steven how do i know you i can trust you you can't i can't I can't even trust myself. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> okay, so are these idiots going around killing people? Are they physical? Do they have Yeah, physical they're human form? beings. So these guys are real, so we can hit them with rocks. Mm-hmm. But they can also kill us. No, they're trying to kill us by like making us watch things. Yeah, right? So you guys are sitting down and discussing and trying to figure out what is going we, on. We got no answers. Okay. You hear a scream in the house. Uh, what's going on? Where's the guy that we just let in? You come out the room and you see some of your housemates on the ground, dead. They all appear to have killed themselves. The seals that covered the windows are open. It was the guy. And the man you let in before is just standing there. Okay, I shoot him. You're blindfolded. <laughs> How are you gonna aim? I take off my blindfold and start shooting him. Oh, so you look? Well, not at the window side, but like- He's by the window. Okay, well then I'm just totally out of ideas. Hosa, take the gun. Okay, I look at the ground, I look at the shadows on the ground and shoot. Oh, you're looking downward. <gasps> That's so smart. Yeah, Hosa's actually really smart at this. Go for it. Boom, shot, boom. He's dead. Get wrecked. I teabag his body. Here's some teabags. Shut up, As Hosa. I open oh a God. bag of teas. <laughs> So we did it, but he's a normal guy, right? He's not a monster. So in the movie, crazy people apparently are immune to the suicide thing. Instead, they think it's beautiful and they want everybody else to see it. So they're kind of like minions of these creatures. Okay. Where do you think is the safest place you guys can live in? Live. There was one place that they ended up in the movie. Safest place, huh? Hmm. A hospital with facilities made for blind people? No. No? No way you just got that. What do you mean? Yeah, that's, that's actually so accurate. They go to school for the blind. That's good. I mean, that's what I would have expected. No, oh my God. You must have cheated. There's no, no, no way. No, no, no. I, I actually... <laughs> Wait, the video's still going on? Yeah, because today's video sponsor is me. Wow, that's uh -huh. horrible. <laughs> oh my God, it's so bad. Because today's sponsor is Daniel. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but all the side characters in this video are actually our animators. I don't know why I needed to tell you that, but that's just, uh, Hosa, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's got, It's okay. Just keep going. All right, we need more animators on our team. If you think you can draw in Dan Plan style and have these requirements, it'd be pretty nice to have you on the team. So we'll give you an eight second audio clip where you will use to draw in our style. So... Daniel, I swear to God, if you eat that, I will yeah, murder you in your sleep. Huh? What? What'd you say? Oh, he's actually eating it right now. Oh my God, Dan, what the heck? You know what? If I kill Daniel, can I res him? <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> 
click the link in the description, you'll be directed to a form that you have to fill out and you'll also be able to send your video link there as well. Have fun with it, but we would love to have quality animations. And if we like your application, we'll email you for an interview. But if you don't get picked, don't be disheartened. We can only hire a certain amount of people. <laughs> We're not rich. Um, by the <laughs> way, if you have any friends who you know are good at drawing, tell them. They're looking for uh, animators. You should try it out. You know, maybe they'll say, amazing, I want to join. Yeah, that's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>